project that uh, we felt pretty orphan. Uh, and it was, you know, some of you, well, not any of us really remember the silent movie era, but there was this character, you know, the perils of Pauline. Poor Pauline was constantly being, you know, captured by a villain and tied to the railroad tracks. And at the very last minute, when that train's coming forward, she's rescued by our hero. <laughs> and that is the story of this project. <laughs> we were sued. Some of the people who sued us are in this room. <laughs> Talking about me. Pat Harrity. Pat Harrity. We had a tax district collapse and then we had it resurrected. And Governor Warner, now Senator Warner is not here, but he was on the phone in Richmond calling people saying, You better sign up for that tax district. Uh, you know, he was actually in there helping us to resurrect it, and it worked. I got that on video. Uh, we, frankly, had eight years of the Bush administration that had was ACDC on transit in general. <laughs> and in this project, we had our, our debates, shall we say, uh, and uh, going through the environmental process and everything else. So one of the other P's was persistence. We had to be willing to push through that vision. We debated, we listened, we compromised, but we never lost sight of that vision that this had to happen. And patience. We had to sometimes be patient, we also had to be impatient. But uh, but working together, we, we were able to prevail. And, uh, and it is just such a gratifying thing. And it is transformative. I hope you will always remember being here today because of what this means. This isn't just a good thing for Northern Virginia. And that's why our colleagues from Maryland and D.C. are here today. They recognize with us, this is the integration of our region. We are in this together as a region. This links the most important corridor in the Commonwealth of Virginia, Terry, to the <laughs> core. We are part of a region. And this is going to transform this corridor into something a lot more livable, a lot more environmentally friendly, a lot more commercially successful, and is going to make a difference for generations. So while we have thanked ourselves and thanked everybody pretty much in the room, let's also remember those who are unsung, who dedicated themselves to making this a reality. Our staffs, planners, environmentalists, people who didn't, didn't drop the ball, people who stayed with us, uh, especially when times were tough. Because without those hundreds of people and their efforts and their belief and their commitments today also would not be possible. God bless you all. Thank you very much.